Hello guys and welcome to MickTV. Today we're doing another Minecraft survival video in our survival world. Uh, we will not be going over there to the food frenzy, but uh, we will be doing something food related I guess you can say. Uh, today we're going to be building a mushroom farm underground. And uh, so since my dog's already out here, I'm going to go and grab him. And also in the, in the time that I've spent on here, I've also added- Oh gosh! Well, I didn't add that, I can tell you that, but I'll fix that just because I have my grass blocks on me because we're going to be using them today. So yeah, there we go. I'll also have to fix that a little bit later. But okay, so we're going to build our mushroom farm right back here. So, if we can just cut down a few of these trees, that'd be really awesome. And then we can just wait for the leaves to despawn, so that we can actually have some space around here. Because I kind of want to have it, like, near the barn, where the mushrooms are. And we can just break these grass blocks, I guess. And don't worry, this one's not going to be about me breaking stone 24-7 like in the last video, <laughs> episode 12, when we, were, when we were building the food frenzy. It's going to be better. And the reason I'm building a mushroom farm is because mushroom stew actually gives you a lot of hunger points back. So uh, I, I like that. So uh, I figured, hey, why not? And now we gotta just finish off this tree right here. Uh, I was hoping to get some apples maybe. But eh, I guess not. If we're getting saplings, that's okay. So yeah. We, yeah, we haven't got any apples yet. These must not be good trees. I, I don't know if they only come from the big trees or what. But uh, I, I know I'm not cutting down my big tree. Because everyone knows that's where my tree house is. Where I do my archery. Okay guys, so now, since this is all good, uh, actually, I guess we can build it over here, and then we can just break this grass. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is, we're just going to make a tunnel underground. Like that. Staircase under. And then eventually we we are going to put some stairs in, make a little shack above it. And then we can place that. I guess that. Place that. Get rid of this. And we're going to go down one more just so that we have three blocks above us. This is also like a tutorial on how to build one. I know that I'm really good at building them. And this time I actually mean that I'm good at something. <laughs> so uh, we can just break all this away. We're going to go uh, three blocks over this way. And then a, a few blocks back. So if we can just break all this cobblestone. Yeah. Haven't been using my iron pickaxe lately just because... Or, I mean, I haven't been using my uh, diamond pickaxe lately because uh, my enchantments are on it and it's really low. And I haven't had enough levels to fix it. So I, d I don't want it to break with like my silk touch on it. Because uh, silk touch is really, really important. So we, we can go about two more back, I'd say, on this. Okay, so perfect. Oh, and also I think that we are going to hit land, so we are going to uh, make a few of this, make a few of these birch planks, then we can just fill this all up with birch, um, 
I guess the ceiling is actually going to be too tall. Just because if we dig up here, or let me see what happens if I dig right there. Yeah, see? There's going to be a grass block, and I don't want that to happen. Because the mushroom farm should be downstairs. Away. And, uh, yeah. So we just got to fill in the ceiling right here with our birch. We'll get rid of this right here. And then this whole ground is going to be dirt so that we can actually grow mushrooms. So there we go. Got that ready. Good. So now we're going to do this. Where we dig out the ground. And I guess once again we are going to be doing cobblestone this entire video. <laughs> uh, hopefully not. I'm going to try guys. So this is pretty good so far. And also in my next episode I will most likely be playing my uh, food frenzy game. Um, my friends could not do it today. But uh, I'm hoping that tomorrow they will be able to. So, there we go. Got that. Oh, gosh. Wait, why did I do this? Right here. I'm going to have uh, one block, one block, like, dividing it in the middle. Now I'm just going to have, like, one mushroom in the middle of this so that it can spread to all of the blocks. I don't know if uh, mushrooms can actually spread onto wood. I'm going to assume that they can though. So if we just do this. We can break this up. And then boom. It's actually going really, really fast, guys. Sorry if you guys uh, can't catch up. Although you should be able to. I, I guess I'm going a bit slow. A bit slower than I usually do. Oh, okay. Good. Then just bring it over. Just like that. Shovel. Hopefully, hopefully we won't have like any mobs spawn down here. Because this place is going to be dark. And this is like asking mobs to come into your house. Almost. Except this isn't going to be my house. Luckily. So let me just see if I can actually place mushrooms all around here. Yeah, I can. So good. So they can all grow. And uh... Just make sure, yep, yeah, they can all grow. So now we are, we are going to make our staircase and our building above. Uh, right here is my crafting table. I'll just place it right here for now. I'm going to make a bunch of more birch. And then I'm going to make my stairs. There we go. And uh, I'm going to need to get my pickaxe out yet again to mine some more stone. Because I know you guys all love watching me mine stone. Oh no. And I know on another world of mine, I uh, do have a mushroom farm that works amazingly. And I think that the only reason that it actually does work is because... Uh, well, I don't know actually, because <laughs> it's very, very dark in the place. But I know that since I can place mushrooms there, they're just not going to grow as fast. So if you don't get mushrooms like the first time you check, don't worry. Uh, they they can spawn in this light. So if we just do this. Like so. And then I'm probably going to have to get some more wood. So that I can actually finish up the top portion of it. 
Although I might not have to. And then, boom. And if we can just... Oh gosh. I'm actually going to have to go night night in my baby bye. And then I will finish this up. Let me just grab all this. And then uh, we're gonna run inside and take a nap. And I guess I'll leave my cookies on going in. And hopefully we don't, we won't have creepers this time. Blew up in our face. Oh, and I realized that I never got my dog. Like I said, I was gonna. I have to go and get it in a second. Okay, so uh, here we go. We're going to get our dog. And then we are going to continue with our mushrooms. Let's see. Yep, my dog is still over there. Lucas, let's go. Hopefully no mobs. He's gonna chag yay. Hello, Mr. Lucas. Good good boy. So this is actually really amazing right here, how this is. Oh, yep, we gotta go get some more birds before we can continue building. I don't know why I'm not running, so it's not letting me. So we're gonna go down into our mine storage room. And uh, is there anything back here for me today? No. And uh, I don't know if you guys know the story about why this is here. It's because a creeper kind of came up and almost blew up and exploded all of this. So that's just why we have the uh, little wood thing there. Okay. So if we can just get through the door. Then we can come up here, we can finish it off. And then the mushroom farm will be finished. But right here is more like the mushroom cabin. So... There we go. And uh, let's see. Maybe if I, if I break away the torches, then they should spawn. And there we go. This is our completed mushroom arm. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys will like, subscribe, comments uh any of the three would be fantastic i thank you very much and appreciate it and uh until next time guys uh see ya